welcome to the email demon where we're going to be showing you how to seduce subscribers for an unlimited amount of cash. Now the techniques that we're going to reveal within the system um, are really simple techniques. They're just going to give you a, a, a short quick outline um, that you can actually go and use and take action. The, how we kind of created these videos was to kind of give you some short videos to show you specific techniques. That way you can watch a video, go take action, come back, watch the next video and go take action because bottom line if you don't take action with the stuff you're not gonna make any money and that's why we're all here so let's talk about email marketing the first thing I want to get into is talking about the email deliverability of, uh, of, of your email marketing campaigns. And what, I, what do I mean by that is, is basically there's a lot of different tools, a lot of different resources you can use to um, develop a subscriber list or an email list. Now the thing is you want to be careful because you know if your emails are getting delivered to that, that little place called the spam folder, then and it's not doing any good so so how do kind of email programs like Gmail or Outlook or some of the other email programs how do they kind of determine spam which one one of the ways they do they actually do they, they track IP addresses so the reason why you want to be careful with the the different um, uh, uh, autoresponder service that you're going to be using is because you want to make sure that whatever service you're using actually has good um, reputation um, with some of the the, the internet providers so think about it this way if um, if if you're on if you're using a particular service that is you know has kind of a low quality uh, a poor reputation and there's gonna you know a lot of people are out there using it it's very common with uh, a lot of the cheaper services or even free services what's happening is uh, you know let's say you make an email broadcast you're, you're out there gonna you know send an email you have it in the queue gonna be sent to all your subscribers well you know everybody who uses that service is actually using the same IP address so let's say you know you're number three in line in the queue for that particular service to send out broadcast well you know let's say the first one sends out a spam message um, to some Gmail account, some AOL account, some, uh, some, some Hotmail account. And then the second one, again, sends out a lot of spam messages. And all those messages are going to uh, get flagged for being spam. Well, those, those, uh, those email providers um, like the Yahoo's and the, the Google's and the MSN's and the different things like that are going to actually track which IP address those emails came from. And on some of the cheaper services, they don't really have departments or ways to go in and try to negotiate uh, you know if there happens to be a spam user on their account to try to get their reputation back up among those users so what happens with you being third in line you're going to send out an email and even though it's not spam it's going to get flagged as spam because it came through that same IP address of that service and then you're out of luck so that's going to really cost you a lot of money in the long run so basically the best bet you have when you're talking about the email deliverability um, is to really go with services that are proven go with services that everyone is using uh, because you know or not that everyone's using but services that like the the top guys are using because you know they they're they have million dollar companies um, that you know, is really dependent on sending out emails, getting sales, getting, uh, you know, being in contact with the subscribers, generating traffic that way. So three of the really the the best email services or autoresponder services that you can go through um, is Aweber. Is uh, a lot of people are using GetResponse, which is really good by Implex. And also in, uh, another good one that's really um, coming up in the ranks is called MailChimp.com. The reason why MailChimp.com is so nice as well is because you can you – know, there's a lot of integrations with PayPal. So if you're doing a lot of selling with PayPal, you're really going to like the services of MailChimp.com. So uh, the reason why you want to try to kind of stick within these three services is because they actually have uh, dedicated departments that go out there and try to always increase – the reputation among other email providers. So if, you know, let's say if somebody on Aweber um, does, you know, engages some spam activity, well, a Aweber has a lot of built-in spam filtering, which usually catches it a lot, but if they don't, if Aweber itself um, has a problem with uh, emails getting sent to spam with, let's say, Gmail and, and Yahoo and different things like that, they actually go out there and try to make it right with those providers. So that's the reason why you want to stick with, you know, kind of like these three, um, just because these 
these are, in my opinion, the ones that I found work the best and, and kind of ensure that the emails always get delivered to the inbox and not to the spam filter. So you want to make sure that you're using the, the most effective tools to get your emails delivered or all, all of what you're about to learn is pretty much useless. So go ahead and check out those different uh, companies, either the Aweber, the GetResponse, uh, MailChimp. If you don't have an account with one of those, go ahead and sign up. They have a lot of free options or very inexpensive options that you can really make you know thousands and tens of thousands of dollars on, even some of the low services like Aweber which is like I think about $19.95 a month so go ahead and check those out and as soon as you get that all set up go on to the next video